Games Studio. Welcome to the Killer Waves tutorial. We're going to show you how to set up waves of enemies. It could also be waves of power-ups, goodies, or anything else you want. First, we're going to show you that we have a game with no sound and nothing spawning, just your ship. Take a look. Pretty empty, right? All right, now that's pretty boring. We want to make some waves. We will drag the level wave settings prefab into the inspector. On the right, it will show you your waves. They are organized into levels. So let's go ahead and make one level. It has a wave. Let's add a couple more waves. Let's look at some of the wave settings. There's a wave type, which is either timed or elimination. Timed is just a number of seconds. Then it will advance to the next wave. If you pick elimination, that means that everything spawned has to be destroyed or despawned. Then it will go to the next wave. Now let's go ahead and put some music into each wave just by dragging a file in. That's the wave's music. For wave 2 I'll say play the music from the wave before and then from wave 3 we'll change to a different audio file. Now to get the music to actually play you need to go to the prefab that has your level music. For me that's the main camera and just add our script from the component menu. Dark Tonic Killer Waves Wave Music Changer. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Okay, let's go ahead and set up two spawners in the level wave settings prefab. You type in the name and the color. You could use the different colors for enemies and power-ups if you like. Spawner color, we have red and green so far. It actually creates these as children of the level wave setting prefab. That's where they need to be in order for the custom inspector to work. I'm going to go ahead and move the spawners a little bit further apart so we can tell what's coming from what because I'm going to add some variance in the waves. They're not going to spawn from exactly where the spawner is. Now let's go into one of the spawners and set up some actual spawning waves. They map to the waves in the level wave settings. So here's drop downs for level and wave. We only have one level, we have three waves. First wave will spawn a randomized number between 8 and 15. It will take this long in seconds. And this is what I'm going to spawn. I'll just drag it in there. Then I'll set up this wave to repeat. Since it only takes one second to spawn it all, and the actual parent wave, global wave, and level wave setting is 10 seconds, this will let it repeat until the 10 seconds is up. I'm going to set up two more waves here. To wave 1, 2, and 1, 3. For the second wave, I'm going to spawn the faster enemy that spins more. And now I'll randomize the X location a little bit from where the spawner is. For the third wave, I'm going to spawn less of them, but make it take a really short amount of time. I'm going to spawn the UFO, and they're going to be randomly rotated on the Y axis. Now let's take a look at that. Here's wave one. It's going to repeat until the 10 seconds is up. Here's the repetition. As soon as they all are off screen, another repetition. And here's wave two. Notice they're not spawning from exactly the same X coordinate. We varied it. Here's wave three. Notice the music changed and the Y rotation was randomized from those enemies. All right, that was cool, but I want the last wave to repeat. Those UFOs coming out. I'll make them pause one second before they repeat, and since the wave was only five seconds, let me increase that so they'll have time to repeat. Now I'm going to add in some more waves into the other spawner. It doesn't have any. Let's do one for one, two, so we'll have two waves at the same time. One from each spawner. We're going to make it spawn a lot more this time and take a little longer. And we'll have it be the same one, enemy three. We'll go ahead and randomize the Z location and the X location a little bit. There's wave one repeating. Oh, here's our combined wave, watch out. And this one is repeating now. This is a repeated wave. Once it's off screen, waits one second, spawn some more. Repeat again until we hit 20 seconds. With a random number of enemies. 
I think you'll agree that was easy. We're going to show you some more settings now. There's a synchro spawners off checkbox. That'll make it so that none of your spawners do anything. Log messages checkbox will tell you when the waves change and things if you want to know that. Down in each wave, if you forgot which spawners are set up for that wave, it can tell you. You can hit the select button and it will select them in the hierarchy as well. Now I'm going to show you if you want to actually make your spawners not visible, then that's not a gauntlet type thing. But you could make your own layer called spawners. Of course, set your level wave settings and all its children, which are the spawners, to that level. Then go into the camera and basically turn off that layer. Then they'll be invisible for your players if they aren't functional to the game itself. So that's Killer Waves at a glance. If you have any audio needs, please check out our other plugin, Master Audio, available on the Asset Store. Support is available on our website. Thank you.